hello hello and welcome to another video so this is actually at nighttime okay so i'm going to go ahead and unload all of the clean dishes load all the dirty ones in and start the dishwasher for the night and then i'm going to start our prep for tomorrow so i'm um, setting the water bottles now you know grandma is texas okay so it'd be hot okay you have to go outside with a water bottle so i'm going to go ahead and place our water bottles in the lunch kit with a little snack to take to the park tomorrow and set this in the refrigerator and while I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and take some fish out for our lunch tomorrow. putting away these brownies so that we can have them for snacks throughout the week, cleaning up the kitchen, and I'm gonna close this baby down for the night. Good morning. Kenny and I are headed to the park. It's 10.02. Here's the water bag that I made last night. It actually is a little windy out here today, girl. All right, Houston. It's 95 degrees, so it says my car, but it's like, it's a little breezy, so that's nice. We're gonna get out here, get this little outdoor play going, and that'll be that. It's, I'm gonna be, in, I am interested to see, now I'm gonna be interested. I'm interested to see um, the crowd that's outside today because in the school district over from ours, um, the kids have returned to school today, so it's going to be interesting to see who all is outdoors. Okay. So, we're done at the park, and let me tell you how good God is. I know. I, girl, look. You know, you're sick of me, and that's fine. Um, so, some of you may know. Kenny, can you roll up the window for me in the back? Okay. Um, that you know Kennedy's homeschool so it's kind of different to find just different crowds different homeschool crowds a lot of people who homeschool we don't all have the same beliefs believe it or not okay um there's just what it is and I haven't really well she found one friend but it just wasn't a good match for me like me and the mom didn't have the same beliefs and that does matter um, because the more you hang around someone the more they influence you and it matters it matters so we have been just kind of taking our time after that friendship and I'm like Lord like Kitty doesn't have a she doesn't have a sibling that's in her age group so you know friends I just like you know that socialization is important right so we were kind of just going back and forth and I was like you know what I'm gonna switch this up I'm praying about everything okay um, and not only is this a season you really should live a life of prayer as a believer but i'm praying about i'm praying about everything everything matters to god and because everything matters to god baby it's gonna matter to me so yesterday i was like i'm gonna pray before i go to the park so i prayed before i went to the park and kenny had a good time with friends at the park and i said you know what i'm driving to the park i said i forgot to do something i forgot to lift up the name okay before I go to this park because I don't know what's at this park. I don't know, you know, predator. I don't know what's going on at this park, but God does. So I prayed before I went to the park. Girl, we found a friend. Um, we found, you know, a, a woman who, I mean, she, we're like-minded. We're like-minded. The girls play good together. And of course, it's nice to have girls. It's nice to have, you know, a fellow believer in Christ, a fellow mom who is going to homeschool, like kids the same age. Girl, that's almost unheard of to find. But it was, I'm so, so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. And let's go a step further because she also has a son. So she also 
was a teenage mother at 14, as was I. And she shared with me her son's testimony. Her son is actually getting married this month, which is so beautiful. Because, you know, you just have those you, you have those moments where you're like, Lord, I don't know how. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Okay? But God is, he's faithful. He is faithful. Faithful. He's faithful. And he's intentional. He cares about every single aspect of your life. Of your life, of my life. And before we get this video started, I want to say that he cares. He cares about your life. He cares about every, all the intricacies of your life. You don't have to settle. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to stoop low. You don't have to, you don't have to settle. You don't have to... You don't have to do things that you're not proud of doing. You don't have to change your character. God cares. He cares. He cares. Okay? So, let's go on. It's 11.52 at this point. I don't know what time it was when we left. But that was, it was worth the time that we spent outside. Okay? So, I'm going to see y'all later. So, I actually wanted to go to Dollar Tree this morning. And I said, you know what? Tanzania, you don't need to go to Dollar Tree. If you clean up all the things that you have, like all the space that you have, and if you still need some quote unquote organizing things once you're done cleaning it up then you can go to dollar tree girl i cleaned up this stuff i didn't need no more of nothing okay so i'm gonna do this to all of the closets that i haven't touched yet Friday night and I feel all right. <laughs> okay, so I did want to go and like get some ice cream and something. I was like, you know what, Tanzania, you're not doing all that. Let's go ahead and make some cookies. So my husband bought home some butter and some flour. Girl, let's make some cookies. If you didn't know, you do not need an ice cream maker to make ice cream. All you need is some salt, uh, some ice, some heavy cream, some whole milk, and anything else that you like to flavor your ice cream with. I got tired of shaking, so I went ahead and made milkshakes for the kids to go with the cookies.
hello good morning it's not even morning it's 11 18 and <clears throat> my husband took kennedy to the park today so i really just been taking the morning to like you know take a little whoo i just took me a nice shower girl oiled my body down you know like a you know what i mean so i think today is gonna be much of the same um, I'm not even cooking today. We're eating. I think they're going to pick up pizza on their way back home. So y'all might not see me for the rest of the day. I did just want to pop in and say hello on this Saturday morning, but I think I'm going to chill today and then pick up my work day tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, and I can't do that. You know why I can't do that? Cause I stayed up last night till about 12 AM. Stayed up this morning, last night, whatever. I didn't go to bed till like 12, let's say 30 ish. I finished all of my shorts that I need to have posted today. So I really have the opportunity to chill. I'm going to chill and, like I said, spend time with the family. I have a book that I'm working on right now that I am going to finish reading. And I probably stay up late tonight, too, and then do more work. So I'm just all advanced. God, it's so good. It's just everything's just, <laughs> everything is just, it's, come on, come on. I'm stepping into that ease. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to see y'all tomorrow. I do need to clean up. I need to clean up real bad, okay? And I mean, like, um, deep clean. My, I'm going to do a little research today. I need a, um, I need a better brush to clean the tub. So I usually do the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. However, sometimes you really don't want to do all that. You want something that's a bit easier. I do not want to buy any of the spin brushes or anything like that. My bathroom doesn't have a window, so I don't want to have any like harmful cleaning products. But if you know of like a brush that you can like scrub with that is a bit easier, because I have the little... I'll show you when I clean the bathroom. I have a little brush that I have in there for like, when you take a shower, just kind of go over the walls. And it does, it cleans like some of the grime from under the shampoo bottles and stuff. But I like the, the part of the tub that you sit down in to be like squeaky clean. And I haven't found a brush outside of the magic eraser that can do that. So if you know of one, leave it down below for me. So I'm gonna chill out and I will see you guys later. I know I said I was going to sit down and chill out, but I was like, what the heck? Why not get up and clean up? This is my foot supplies. I just needed to sanitize it, clean it up, clean it up, sanitize it, and I'm actually going to sit it outside in the sun to let it dry. Now, if you were using these products like outside of your home, I would definitely use Barbicide. I do have Barbicide, but I like to save it for special occasions, okay? Because it is a little expensive. So here I am in the kids' bathroom. This is just a little soap pump that I bought from Walmart. It was a little over $6. I know you can get it from Dollar Tree, but I got this one from Walmart. I put Kennedy's mouthwash inside this little pump. So when she brushes her teeth, it like gives her that sense of independence. I don't have to pour the mouthwash because she cannot open this container. And here in this cabinet is my little extra supplies. You're gonna see me later on in this video make little tabs for throughout the house, just helps me make my grocery list. But here's the extra stuff. It's some extra body wash for my son, you know, extra toothpaste and mouthwash and things like that go in this little bin. I also finished up um, a little project that I've been working on. If you have a kindergartner or a preschooler and you are trying to teach them to read, you're teaching them letter sounds, 
I do have something new on my website for you guys. Check out all the goodies if you're homeschooling a preschool or kindergartner. Um, this page is 75 pages, okay? So I had to go ahead and print them all out um, to put them inside of the little sleeves for later on in the week. So here's the list. I'm going to post these throughout the house. I'll probably show you later exactly where I put them. I'm going to laminate them. Like I said, post them throughout the house. This helps me make my list and also helps me keep track of like home inventory. See what it is that I already have. The next thing I'm going to do is just go throughout the house and refill everything. This is actually how I see what I have. So refilling all the soaps, refilling just everything that needs to be refilled so that I can add it to my checklist. As you can see on the other side of the screen, this is the running grocery list that I have. It's really a grocery list, like a house supplies list. Every time I'm out of something, I immediately put it on this list so I'm not scramming for stuff when it's time to go shopping. All right, and here's the list posted in my bathroom. This is under our sink, and here's all of our little extras. Things are as organized as they will get, okay? Electronics, hair, got all that kind of stuff. This is the kids' bathroom. I showed you guys last week. Um, my husband, and myself, and Kennedy organized all her beads, color-coded everything. Here's her big beads. The little ones are all, like, in separate baggies for color. Road bands are all where road bands go. So this is as organized as it's going to get. Like I said, I'm not going for Instagram. I'm actually going for functional, and this worked perfectly. So I'm also starting a new project that is a little garden. Now, my mom showed me this. And if you think like, girl, your mama, how your mama know? Girl, my mama is a gardener. Here are some pictures of her garden, beautiful garden. So anytime I need gardening advice, I'm going to ask home girl, okay? Because she know. I'm really behind. I'm not really like, I don't have a green thumb. I'm really not interested in like the outdoor stuff you're going to see when I go outside. Maybe I was scared of the soil. But I'm trying to get better, especially I want to grow some tomatoes, bell peppers, and just the things that I've shopped for frequently at the store i would like to grow them myself my mom said that you can just cut the tomato and grow it so girl okay i don't have the patience for it but i'm just gonna see if it works okay if not i'm gonna go back to the drawing board and ask her a bit more questions but let's try this out So I have been wanting to make homemade pasta for years. My husband used to teach these culinary classes, um, these adult culinary classes, and they made homemade pasta, and I have been wanting to make some forever, but I never really took the time to do it. I thought it was gonna be too much time, but honey, this didn't take it that long, and it did not disappoint. I just did a test run for myself this night so that I could make the meal like for the next day for the family, but honey, honey, I know you hear me say it a lot, but this pasta did not disappoint at all. Okay, at all.
All right, you can press it in park. Okay. Good job. Mm So this is one of the ways that I actually sneak in a bit more, I guess, Bible study time into my day. You see the scripture at the top of this page? I'll go ahead and look up that scripture, read the entire chapter, and then go through and do this word puzzle. So moving on to the next part of my night is actually gathering the homeschool stuff for tomorrow. Um, like I said, Kennedy's really young, so we don't do anything crazy. It's pretty much the same routine. It takes us about an hour to complete, and I'm just taking out a few things that we could use for the next day. Good morning. So it is 5.44 at this point. Um, and I'm just sitting in here doing my devotional. I'm about to do some Bible study. And this is just like waking up a bit earlier so that like Kennedy, my plan to wake, is to wake Kennedy up at eight o'clock so that we can get her school stuff done by nine and be out of the door for nine, like go to the park and do my walk and all that kind of stuff. But it caused me to have to wake up a little earlier. Girl, didn't you go to bed at like 12 o'clock? I did. I did. I'm okay, though. I'm just fine. So, I'm in here doing this. Um, I will see you guys a little later in the day. All right. It is 828, and we are off to take our walk slash play at the park. We've already finished our work for the morning. Kate ate her breakfast and all that kind of stuff. So, we we out of here. Can I be a baby this morning? So I want to share this with y'all. If you don't see my other video, you probably won't hear this story any other time. But I'm going to go ahead and share it just because I'm feeling a bit like a bit in my feelings this morning. So this weekend, I was like sitting in a room talking with my husband and I heard somebody on the phone. I could hear clearly a phone going, but I also heard the game going. And I'm like, is he up in there talking on the phone? Because I heard somebody say, I love you. And I'm just really trying to figure out where the love is. I know that he has a girlfriend. But, you know, I don't know. I didn't think that they were there. And let me, <laughs> let me paint a different picture for you. So, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if I really mentioned it because I don't really like... Baby, it is whatever kind of thing. That's how I feel about it. It's whatever. So, my son is high-functioning autistic. If you've ever met him, you probably saw him in some of my videos. He doesn't, he's not, he's very high-functioning on the spectrum, but he definitely is on the spectrum, right? So, him having a girlfriend and just all of the things are, it's just different. And I remember, so they've been going out for a while now. I mean, two three maybe they've been going out for like three years so the beginning of middle school i think it was they've been going out for a while and i found out because he got an invitation so he has some classes i mean he's going to be at the high school this year so it's different for him but he has some classes that are like you know mixed in with all the population and then he has his class that is just what they call his developmental class right so in the developmental class there are children who are on the spectrum children with other maybe learning disabilities things of that nature right so he got um, an invitation to go to a party and i didn't really think anything of it until the little girl's mom texted me and was like hey um i guess kylie gave her my number i don't know text me and was like hey um <laughs> my daughter like she wanted to know if kylie she wanted to know if kylie was going to make it to the party and anytime somebody reaches out to me like 
apparently Kylan making it to the party was a big deal. At this point, I didn't know that they were going out. So I pull up to the party, you know, meet the mom before I drop Colin off to the party. And the mom was like, she comes out and she was like, basically, she was in tears and she was smiling like they were happy tears. And she was like, she just didn't know, like, cause her daughter also has, you know, special needs. She didn't know, like, she just didn't think that she'd be able to find love and that that would be like a possibility for her, you know? Cause parents, as parents, we do have that thought process, especially if, like I said, maybe your child's just different functioning you don't think it's like it's just one of those things you don't know um so when she said it to me it just really warmed my heart like really really warm my y'all know i love love i love a good love story and i ain't talking about none of that trifling ratchet stuff okay rolling around in the bed little kids i ain't talking about none of that i'm talking about like just puppy love and her mom felt the same way so it was like a cute little exchange so they were like i mean i mean they've been talking they don't like they hadn't gone on any dates. They were, I, in my opinion, they're still too young for that. Um, her parents felt the same way, so he did go over there for like the party and things like that. And you know, just real, just taking it slow. They're kids. They are getting older, however. She moved to high school, so she's a year older than him. They're like she turned. She's already 15, and then he's turning 15 at the end of the year. So me and my husband Joey, like, oh, you like a little older woman, like just really playing with him. But for like a year, it was kind of silent. Like they weren't really talking to each other. And I ask him, you know me, I'm I'm the mama that'll make like Valentine cards and birthday gifts for people, your girl on your girlfriend's behalf. Like I mean, on your behalf of your girlfriend, that's me. So if you guys have been following for a while, you probably saw me make her like a bracelet, a little Valentine's Day something, just cause you uh, you want. Like, that's love. Girl, that's love. Even if it is puppy dog love, maybe it's love and it's still cute. So, um, they hadn't talked for like a year. I would ask him about her and he was just like, he would say things like, Mom, I really just got to get myself together. And I'm like, that's kid. And in his defense, uh, perhaps he did need to get himself together. So, like I said, a year passed and I asked him like, you know, he knew her birthday. He knew all the things. Remember, we was in his room the other day. And I was cleaning up and he was writing like her favorite foods and things down like that. So just real, like a real cute, it's so cute. But I asked him like, well, why you had, why had you not been talking to her? And then he told me, he gave me, it was a good reason. And of course I prayed with him. And then I looked back at my phone. So good thing he did, he lost the girl's number. How you going out with somebody, you losing a number? I don't know. It's a, it's his thing. Okay. So, um he lost the girl's number because i think it's because he got a new phone so he used to have an iphone he lost the iphone he lost the girl number whatever so in my phone because i never delete any of my messages unless you're blocked and i do delete your message um but i had her mom's number so i texted mom and was like hey um kylan do you have logo's number i want to give it to kylan so they have been talking again girl they were talking again and i don't know it's just really cute to me like I love that for her i love that for them but let me be real honest with you like because they're getting older i realize the possibility of them like being together together like it's like a real possibility like a real possibility like like i said they're both they're they're both on the spectrum in some sort so their love is very different than what you would think of like you know even how i have to think about like my son and his future and just you know accommodations and maybe you know it's it's a different if if you don't know you don't know this is me just blab babbling on if you don't know but even the way that i think about you know maybe how much i would have to help him in the future it's i think about it just a little bit more than i would let's let's say like kennedy just say it's just a thing like if it would be the same way if you had a child with any kind of other disability like maybe they were you know maybe they didn't have legs or something like that you would think about it just a little bit more it's not that it's going to be the definite because i'm not god and probabilities come on somebody and outcomes belong to god and god alone so i don't like think about it in a way that's bad it's just something like you know just think about it. so the fact that they're like girl they have a whole little relationship is just so cute to me it's so cute it's so cute and you know me i'm a um i know it's early to be thinking about marriage talking about marriage all that kind of stuff but i'm a young marriage type person i believe that you i don't think that you should just be playing with fire like do the right thing find a person get married so that you can be begin life together don't spend all your your youth playing around you know what i mean 
and making messes and smart starting little fires all over the place like i don't he's not that's not in that's not in his wheelhouse to do so i don't have to worry about that with him but i'm just saying i wasn't under that mindset anyway like he said things to me like because when so <laughs> girl this is a conversation this is a great conversation so my husband you know he works at the high school so he's like he's like the lead culinary he he's over the culinary department he's a lead culinary teacher there so he puts on a lot of events and stuff like that he has a whole culinary program at the, think of like i don't know what's the think of like the art institute's culinary program it's like that for high school it's a career high school so he has that going on in his high school and one of the events my son went up there to like you know i think he was doing the dishwashing position at this point because you want to give him something you know first of all he's not in the program second of all it was his first time ever doing any kind of work so my husband let him go in and do the dishwasher and girl all the little girls and i knew it was gonna be that way because he's really tall he's like he's probably right at six foot right now or right under and he's, he's a little handsome right the little the little hot little girls Ooh, ah, ah, and my husband thought it was so funny but he's always been under the mindset of like 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 it like let's say the teacher the teacher who was doing one of his assessments asked him and she told me she asked him um like would he do like modeling or something like that and he was like i hate when people ask me that because you just assume like his thing is like you assume because i look a certain way i have to do a certain thing and he told he would say it. like he's not you know what i mean like he's he gets it and he he's so his intelligence is very different than like you know what i mean come on now i don't have to see here this way you girl you know what i'm talking about so he's very intelligent he's very he's a very deep thinker you know what i mean his what do you call it crystallized intelligence he's very did he get it from me perhaps <laughs> so but it's just cute isn't it so cute to not like be trifling and looking for people who you know i don't know match with you in your tripling because they was up in there talking about i love you now they don't even i mean they don't go to the same school he goes to a different he's going to a different school before they would they would go to the same school but they don't go to the same school they don't see each other it's not like you know it's not like they're sneaking out of the house to see each other it's just like this normal like oh love just like that love that's just like oh and it doesn't need any ratchetness you know what i mean by ratchetness the ratchetness that i was engaged in when i was his age it doesn't need any of that it's just like it almost reminds me of when i was engaged to my husband how we were just like come on dude we were i mean we would stay up till two o'clock in the morning just talking oh talking on the phone girl i'm about to get myself in some here hold on we stay up till like two o'clock in the morning just talking on the phone just kind of it was just cute we weren't doing it that we weren't rolling around the bed doing it it was just like just oh just someone to talk to just it was good and the fact that he's found that at such a young age and it's so wholesome i just love that for them i love that for them and I don't know. I'm. I'm. I know her. Her mom is grateful. She's expressed her gratitude. I just love it. And they're real cute. I. I think I'm gonna take them. I asked. I asked him the other day. When is he gonna take the girl out? Like, take her to Chili's or something. And my husband was like, "Well, he saved his allowance because you know he's a gamer. So his <laughs> girl, his allowance usually goes to like game and stuff like that. So he's been saving up for a few months for I think it's payday three. Yeah, it's payday three. So he had spent his little money and I asked him, I was like, where are you going? I was asking him that to see if he wanted to take her because I would actually fund taking her because I think it's the right thing to do, right? And my husband was like, when he save up his money, you know, he's thinking of it from a male's perspective, but baby, you better save up, at least have enough to tip the waiter. So I'm going to take somebody out to eat. So I think I'm going to take them out to eat together, but they're like, girl, they're so cute. They're, she's, she's Hispanic by like, just to throw that in there. I know it don't really matter, but, um. They're just so cute. They're so cute. Maybe one of these days we get to see them. So here we are at the park. Okay, I'm about to take our walk. And the girl, it's 8.51. About to take our walk. Shouldn't take me that long. And then let her play. And then we'll head back home. Or well, then I'm going to go find some press on. Baby, did I tell you these were press on? Okay. These were, I think I told you last night. I did. Press on, baby. Press on. Okay. So imagine buying some Parmesan cheese the other day at your grocery shopping and knowing that you bought it and it really being in the trunk under the stroller. Imagine that. I think this is ruined now. 
Let's see. It says for best quality refrigerator after opening. There's that. Okay, let's go. Who wants to be my friend? There's nobody out here right now, girl. I'm done my walk. Um, I don't know. I did a little over two miles. And I'm trying to let Kennedy play, but there's nobody out here. So <laughs> she better get to playing, okay? Because a sis is hot. Sis is real hot. So we just left five below. Kennedy, can I see the bag? Can I see my stuff out of the bag? What you got? I got this pencil, orange, this mm -hmm. amazing, and this amazing pencil. Yes, this amazing orange pencil. And that's, I have me and little Kennedy pencil. Mm -hmm. Quickly now. This one. This one is a nail dryer and nail polish to add to her collection. This one. Hopefully it doesn't pencil. smell like, hopefully it still smells like kid nail polish. If it has that weird smell, <laughs> we're not gonna use it. Okay. And then what's the last thing you got? I got this candy. And she got some candy. And okay. She... All right, so you can sit down and buckle up your seatbelt. Okay. All right, so it's what, 2.45. I took my shower and everything. Tell me why. So this is good though. I'm gonna put a, the amount of days it's been on the screen because I can't remember and I won't lie. But this first nail just got a little loose. And it's not like loose, loose, but I can, there it goes. I don't know if you can see it. You see it's flipping up, but I have my nail glued off so I can put it down. But baby, that's a good amount of time for just a little sticky back. You remember the little sticky back? Let me see if I can show you the other ones up close. Oh. Girl, you remember the little sticky bags? Hold on. Alexa, pause. Here's the, um. these are the two that I bought. These are real cute. Like, I, I think I showed y'all them in the car. But there they are. They were only $5, but like I said, they're a little longer. I'm gonna still try them out or whatever. And there's 24 nails in there, so they probably have the size that'll fit mine. This one, however, has 33 nails, so they're really bound to have the size that I need. Cause look how many sizes on the back. That's pretty amazing. And my fingers are like, some of my fingers are, like they're not, I don't have big nail beds. So it's kind of hard to get the, like the one that, they had some at Dollar Tree that were like, I think they had 12 nails, so only two extra nails, which means the sizing are very, like it's not broad sizing. So I didn't get them from there, I got these. But I want to tell y'all, I finally got a loose one. So, girl, glue it right back on. All right, so after I finish my little nightly tidy up, I am gonna go ahead and start my Bible study. Everyone is in like their little respective places. It's kind of like the quiet time of the night. No one's sleeping at this point, but you know, everybody's doing their thing and this is my thing. So I have my little setup here and then I spent the night with Kennedy. I mean, she didn't, I didn't sleep in her bed, but I went to chill in it with her. Now, it's too small for your spirit. Your bed's too small for me. See, this bed, bigger, and this bed's small. So it's not my bed? And it's not my room? Mm -hmm. This is not your room. This is not your bed. This is Katie's room, and this bed small. Okay? Okay. Good 
morning, girl. So we literally just got out of bed, brushed our teeth. I threw on some clothes. I'm about to take Kennedy outside to ride her new big bike. Um, we were supposed to do a play date today with her friend that we met at the front part of this video at the park. They just got back in town, so we're actually gonna go tomorrow to the splash pad. So this is gonna be delay started. Sound alarm. We're about to go outside and let her ride her bike. Okay, come on, Kennedy. So eggs, are we back inside? Yeah, that thing ran like a Cadillac. Imagine going from a little, a little putt putt to a whole caddy, okay? And I don't know if I told you guys, but so Kennedy's birthday is at the end of the month. And our plan was to buy her a bike for her birthday. And when we went to Google that day, we saw that bike and it was like, like it's a cute little bike. I don't know, I showed it to you up close. It's a cute little bike. And the bikes that I was seeing on Amazon were like mm, 170, 180. We're still gonna get her a bike, but the fact that I found this real cute one for what, $12.99? And then we added the training wheels, the little handlebar covers. My husband bought her a bell, so it ended up being way cheaper than purchasing her a brand new bike. And the little bike, though she can still technically ride the little bike she is her it'll be her last year she'll be growing out of that bike so anyway we're about to come in here and make her some breakfast you guys have seen our breakfast time and time again i think i'll make some pancakes some pancakes and eggs for myself but we're gonna see so i will talk to you guys later we're actually gonna go ahead and, and end this video today i thought we were gonna end it with the splash pad but we're going to the splash pad tomorrow so y'all sit down in the next video um so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. So for Katie's craft activity today, I let her use some of the polymer clay. I'm gonna bake her little pieces later tonight, but this was a pretty fun activity. So here's dinner. I know it's looking a little cold because it is cold, but here it is. Um, this is the pasta. I put a little oregano and just a little bit of butter on it. And then this is broccoli uh, sauce that I made, like a pasta sauce, cheese sauce. And then I put some broccoli in there. And um, it has fish in it as well. All right, so that's it. It is, like I said, 3.10. It's 3.10 p.m. And that's the end of my day. So you want to stop? And um, read me a book wait till my husband comes home and well, i got some good news so this is just a good news video i love it i wasn't gonna tell y'all this because you don't you don't be opening your mouth until stuff is sealed so you guys know last year i uh, my son i withdrew him last year like at the end of school year and he homeschooled for the rest of the school year now he finished most of the school year at middle school however he was supposed to go to um you know the high school he did the whole interview process he got accepted at the high school um that my husband works with so i have been waiting you know we have been waiting for that well they started school last thursday and turns out the registrar and all that kind of stuff they didn't do one of the closing meetings for him at the old school so he didn't get like his promotion honey when i heard that news i said you know what <laughs> the lord the Lord is with us, okay? Um, I'm not even gonna worry about that. You know how, how stuff just be popping up you just worry about for no reason? God was like, whatever. And let's be completely honest. I was actually in the middle of a fast when I had that news. And you know what I did? I'm about to slip this right on here. Lord, show me what to do with this. So today my husband called and I did a video for you guys earlier today talking about like, you know, your husband is known in the gates and you know, it's just this whole, it's just this culmination of creating the right environment in your home. And you can do that as a mother. Um, but anyway, I said all that to say, he gave me a call a little while ago. Maybe it was like an hour ago. I was like, he don't even have to go back. Because one of the things was they were saying that he was going to have to go back to middle school and probably stay there for a little while while they finish things up. And I was like, baby, no. 
<laughs> not the Lord I serve. Not the who would and serve for God. Not the God I serve. We ain't doing all that. So we ain't even gonna worry about that. I'm not even about to look. I'm not even gonna entertain the thought that he's gonna go back there. So he don't have to go back there. He's gonna they send a little piece of paper and that be that. And that be that. So next week, well actually this week, two more days, he'll be at the high school. So the next time you guys see a video, I don't have a high schooler. I wouldn't worry about it anyway, but I ain't, like I said, girl, you don't say stuff till it's sealed, <laughs> till it's sealed, all right? So I'm going to see you later. As always, if you have a question, ask a question, and I'll see you in the next video.